Hey Don, how's it going? Um, okay, thanks for the videos and for making the effort. Um, I actually am loving where you're at after a week. All right, we're definitely getting we're definitely getting a little more aggressive here on the downswing, and we're definitely getting into a better strike position. Okay, we're also getting into a slightly better delivery position with the handle and the club. So that's really really good. Now we can see all those three side on. Um, Still a little bit this way, but the one where you didn't go that way and then you shifted, that was definitely the best one and the best launch by far. So keep up with that. Okay. Um, we do have a little bit of heel striking going on. Okay. I think it's a combination of the setup. Okay. And then the early release, which is obviously now something new because you've never been in position to actually release the club properly. So you don't really know how to release the club. So that's actually a really good thing, right? So just to touch on that quickly, all right? This is kind of moving forward in a long-term thing, all right? But how do we release the golf club? Um, so once we set everything up, and I'm not talking about the setup, I'm talking about loading the backswing and then moving athletically into a strike position. We store a lot of energy. Okay, we do all of that literally for one reason, to release the golf club correctly. And the way we release it is, we arrive at a point where actually the body rotation is finished. Okay, strike position is good. Okay, and then we're trying to sort of almost slap the ball with this right hand. So if you imagine throwing, okay, it would be this right wrist. Okay, in golf we call it flexion. That's when the right wrist flexes. Okay, and extension like that. Okay, that's the move. But it's load up and release. You load up beautifully, okay, but you haven't learned to release. You kind of release a little bit here, like that. Okay, so we want to release sort of through the ball and much wider with the arms straightening out. Okay, so we don't want to release the club there. Only driver we will release there. Every other club we will release about a foot, foot and a half in front. Okay, the right wrist will snap and the arms will extend. Okay, that's, uh, actually, it's all about that. That's, that's the critical part that you need that makes you hit the ball that way, that height, that direction, that sound that all the good players have. Okay, it's, it's basically unloading the shaft, releasing. Okay, so that's our long-term plan, essentially. Okay, but we, you're in much better positions. And without a lot of work, you hit the ball much better if you just learn how to release the club better. So it's not that. Okay, it's that. Okay, just from this angle... It's not quite down the line, okay, because the body's rotating. It's a little bit left because that golf swing is a circle, so it's actually a little bit left of target. Okay, but it should happen naturally with your body. Okay, right now all we need to do is get it a little bit later and with extension of the arms instead of that. Okay, all right, so we're actually going to do a draw flat. That's what I mentioned in those videos. And then just quickly in your setup, so what I want to do in the setup is I just want to drop these hands a little bit. Because okay, when I say you're standing too close, your feet are not too close and your head's not too close. Okay, your core is too close, this part. So we just need to move this back. Okay, and then just drop the hands a little bit. Okay, and then from there should be the right distance from the ball and we should stop hitting it out the heel. Okay, so we're not here. Okay, we're there in the setup. So just push this back, drop the hands a little bit, keep doing the same stuff that we're doing. Okay, and then when in between that, we're going to do this release point drill. Okay, very cool drill. All right, so what we do, normal setup, this is a eight time. This is an eight time. So just inside shoulder width, just forward of center, the ball position. Okay, and then I get into my release point first. So for me, the release point's a little bit further than it is for you. For you, your release point's probably about here. Okay, mine's going to be about there. Okay, so you can start there, but if you start there, just be careful because it's quite low. So... Just starts a bit further out, it's fine. Okay, and then basically we're going to swing back from there and then try and return to the same release point. If you want to do it slowly and just kind of stop there, okay, you can do that. Okay, in fact, let's do it like that. So just do a few slow ones. Okay, so call back, drop the hands. Okay, start in the release point. Okay, and just slowly and just kind of Stop it, decide it, kind of flick it a little bit there. It's just as a draw, yeah? So let's do a couple of those. Then do full swings from the same place. Okay, so call back, drop the hands. Start in the release point. Full swings. 
and try and feel that same move. So try and feel like you releasing later with the arms extending. Okay. It's a little bit of a horrible one, but when you get it, oh, you hit the ball unbelievably good. Okay, and then in between that, just the normal what you've been doing. Okay, so no lateral. You just load, shift, and keep trying to strike that golf ball. All right, so just flick between the two thoughts. Both of them, you're going to make the setup changes. Okay, so that's a little bit of work. All right, obviously, as I said, you can always do it on the range, even on the course. I mean, stuff if you do on the course, those little draws you want to do on the range or in the studio. On the course, you want to go a little bit more with feel. Um, but just start with that for now. Okay, and then let me know how it goes and let me know if you need anything. Okay, thank you very much. Talk to you soon.